Mauricio, hello. Um, How are you? If you win your last three games, you can reach 67 points, which probably not enough for the Champions League. But how do you see your, your season coming to a finish? But this is our, our challenge now, to, to win the next game and try to, to get the, the, the nine uh, in, in the three games. I think this is our objective. Difficult to reach the, the Champions League, but if not, uh, the Europa League, this is our target now. Um, how important is it to you to finish above your former club, Southampton? No, it's not my. <laughs> it's not my objective. It's not my target personal. I think that uh, we want to to stay higher on the table, more possible, and and we expect uh, uh, to stay of five or four. But this is our target. No, it's because I handle my uh, old team. You'll obviously try your best to get as many points as you can. But if you just missed out on the Europa League with that Thursday-Sunday schedule, would it really be such a bad thing when you think that Liverpool sustained a title challenge last year after not having to play in Europe? I think that, uh, I think that we, we can or you can explain a lot of things about the Europa League or Champions League and the, to be involved in dif different competitions. I think that it's good for uh, Tottenham to stay in the next uh, Champions League or Europa League. This is his, the, the reality. We want to stay. It's for that we want to win the next game and after the next and the next. Um, this is our objective, our target, and, and it's not uh, too much. Uh, um, I don't need to explain too much because I think that this is, is, is a good thing for the club to stay on, on the next uh, European competition. Currently, you're, you're 25 points behind the champions, Chelsea. How do you go about significantly trying to reduce that gap next season? Yes, it is. Uh, this is, I think, this is our bigger challenge for the next season to try to to reduce the gap in between the, in this case, uh, to Chelsea, that is the, the, the champion. And, and this is, is a, a big, big challenge. Um, a very good challenge for us, and I think that um, this is one that the, our our challenge. We have another challenge too to build the, the strong team, the strong mentality inside, and and the very good squad. And we have different different challenge and different time. Is it true you'll have overall control of summer transfers? And if so, how important is that to you? Well, I think for all manager. Um, that are in all clubs, it's important that the, the player that come, uh, you are uh, always agree with the club for, for signing this player. I think this is a <clears throat> very important thing, but not only for me, uh, for all managers in all clubs. Do you know who you want to let go at the end of the season? I'm not expecting names, but I mean, have you already drawn up a list of... of yeah, I think that uh, we were very hard in the last six, six months and to identify and our target um, is uh, to have clear idea and, and the clear picture. Um, we analyze, we assess all the situation and for to delivery on, on the summer because you know that uh, not too much time to, to this, for decide. I think that the, the summer is coming, the holidays and we need to, to be ready for take the decision. Does Aaron Lennon's future lie here or, or at Everton, do you think? Sorry? Does Aaron Lennon's future lie mm, here? Or yes, at I think that uh, this is, is uh, um, one uh, uh, thing more that we need to discuss with the, with the club. I think that it's not a moment to, to explain uh, the individual dis uh, decision or individual case. I think that the, it's, it's no time because we have ahead three three games and when fi when finish the the season, I think that uh, in this moment we can explain uh, our plan. Um, I think I'll get the same answer to this question. But if you were to lose <coughs> Hugo Lloris, for example, how closely would you look at someone say like Petr Cech or of his quality as a replacement? No, it's uh, another rumor like before Lennon uh, or now Hugo or, or different player. Um, I think it's not a moment to to, sp to speak in, in, in public uh, about the rumors because I think that 
when I arrive, I arrive the day, I sure that we explain our plan and our decision. Let me ask you, if I may, about Lionel Messi, um, your, your fellow countryman. How good was he last night and, and just how do you try and stop him? Yes, I think that uh, he changed the, the game. I think that uh, it's not important the manager or the, <laughs> or the tactical situation and how you prepare the game if you have him from Messi. You if you are uh, Guardiola, Luis Enrique, or I don't know who, if Messi won, he should three nil for for the the team that is on involved Messi. And this is, is I think, is uh, we need to understand that the football is is the player, is for the player. Uh, I think was unbelievable because uh, so far was nil nil the reason. Very good game, exciting game, because I think that I enjoy a lot. But when Messi won, decide the game. Does he surprise you even? No, no surprise me, because no. I think this, uh, I have, I, 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 I was, no, I, to a suerte, I was lucky. I was lucky that, uh, that I can play with um, Diego Armando Maradona, and, and Messi is, maybe Maradona is his one step more up because it's my idol, but Messi is this type of player that for me the best on the, on the world today, for me better than Cristiano, and can decide uh, the game. Um, the other Champions League semi-final obviously featured Gareth Bale, who's having a difficult time at, at Real Madrid. Um, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting there's any kind of buyback clause if Real Madrid wanted to, to let him go, but what have you made uh, of it, and do you expect him ultimately to prove the, the current critics no, he has wrong? I think this is not... Uh, uh, if he's not comfortable in Madrid, uh, I think that uh, maybe here is... We, we keep his, his, his place, no? Maybe if one... <laughs> Back here, we are open to receive him. But uh, now, always it's not easy when uh, you arrive at a huge club like uh, Real Madrid and the way that play Real Madrid. Um, it's, uh, it's it's not easy, but he has the, the quality to to get success on, on Real Madrid. Only always his time. I, I remember always when Zidane arrived to Real Madrid. The first season was very difficult for him, and a lot of criticize. But uh, only time to to adapt. Uh, it's not easy for the now that uh, after t more than two years and a half that I arrived to to England, and I think that the, the culture are very different than than Spain, and and now can understand that it's very difficult for the English player to arrive to Spain, la siesta, uh, to go to sleep uh, twelve o'clock and. Mm. And uh, many, many different things that uh, you need to adapt. I think it's, it's better when you come from Spain, Spain to England to adapt here, but when you go to Spain, uh, you need maybe one, two seasons for adapt your, yourself. And uh, 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 Because it's uh, opposite than, than England. I think that uh, it's better here for develop your, sh your passion, your shop, like a player or like a manager. But for life uh, on Spain, for the weather, for the, it's a, a different culture. It's, it's difficult to adapt uh, when you come from from England. No? Only only he need time. So you'd welcome him back, but you probably don't have first refusal on him as a club. There's no clause in the in his contract, is there, that says. <coughs> No, no, it was, it was a shock. I think that uh, <laughs> no, 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 not take uh, my words. Uh, was a, sure. was a um, just one last one. Um, obviously, the health of, of Jimmy Greaves has been a, a huge worry to to everyone lately. Uh, we gather the news might be a little more encouraging j just uh, today. But I wonder, yes. Moritz, here, what you could say on behalf of the club about about Jimmy? Yes, uh, I hear that uh, make positive things in yeah. the last few days, and I wish all. All the good thing for the for him and and for the family. I know that uh, uh, a huge lesson for for Tottenham and all. I think it was the, the 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 most important player on 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 the history on Tottenham. I think that all people, all supporters, all people that love Tottenham and love him, sure, 
uh, are are con uh, concerned about his uh, his uh, eh? health. health. Thank you very much. Um, last month, you indicated that Europa League football might be something that the players wouldn't benefit from next season. Have you had a change of heart? Sorry. Have you had a change of heart regarding Europa League football next season? Because last last month it, it seemed like you weren't as keen. No, 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 no. I think that oh, maybe, maybe you misunderstand me. Um, I think because two years and a half before, when I was on Tote, on Tote, on Southampton, always say, but personally, my challenge is always play uh, Champions League. But uh, this is, was my feeling, my personal feeling. But... Uh, for for the club for Tottenham it's very important to play or stay on the uh, European competition uh, next season. Our challenge now, our target is, is to win the three games for for a ride to the to the competition, European competition. Uh, winning those three games starts with Stoke on Saturday. Do you find them to be one of the the most difficult teams to play away? Yes, it's very difficult. Eh? Very difficult. We have the experience to play again with Southampton and. The windy is not easy uh, because it's open on the corner, and I don't know the weather because if like is like yesterday or today is or in the last few few days it's difficult to play in in Britannia, and but it's a it's a team very uh, good good uh, with good uh, very good organized and a strong team uh, in the play that they, they weigh and mix very well and because they play very good in along along the grass but play on in, in long ball and it's a, it's a very difficult team when you can see always when you analyze them that uh, can play in different uh, ways and and ha they have a very very good uh, player i think that the season was very very good for are you for happy them. with your final run in your your final three games if, if I am Are you happy. happy with them, yeah. Um, Hull, Everton, Stoke. Would you? Uh, I, you, you, you never know. I think the the schedule is. Uh, you need to accept the schedule, but you never know if happy or not happy. I think after the three game, I, maybe I can uh, uh, explain better if my my feeling. Today is, I am, I am sure that the uh, we need to compete and and we go to for compete. Uh, for the for the nine nine points. Just to return to Lionel Messi for a moment, you mentioned that you played with Diego Maradona yes. at the end of his career. If you were a manager now and you could either have Messi or Maradona in your team, who would you like? Today, to yeah, eh, Messi because <laughs> Maradona is fat, is <laughs> old. But really, not the, joking aside, who who do you think? For me, always or? Maradona. Always. Sorry for Messi. I love Messi, but uh, always Maradona. And is that because he won a World Cup for Argentina and the accusation for Messi is that he's never won a World Cup? Well, I think I, uh, I think Messi and Maradona is, 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 uh, are very dif different, like a character and personality. And I think that... Uh, but you can cannot accuse uh, Messi. I think maybe the next uh, World Cup uh, is the, exists the, the possibility to, to win the, the World Cup, but it's, um, I think Maradona uh, was always, uh, for my generation, a very special, a very special player. I think that uh, because when I was a child, uh, Maradona was uh, like a god, and. And this is, is difficult. You change in your mind now. Cristiano is better, Messi is better, or Ronaldinho is better. I think for me, always Maradona. But I recognize today that Messi is the best. Is be the best on the world. And just to return to the Europa League, is it true that uh, the Europa League this season gave you the best idea of just how good Harry Kane was, and that it, in that respect, the competition is very useful for? You identifying who your best young talent is. Yes, I think it's a. I think it's a very good competition, and and I think that was was good for us because we give the possibility to different players to to play and compete uh, during the the season, 
And it's for that our challenge now is to try to win the three, po the three, the three games for uh, to be sure that they play the, the next uh, Europa League. Have you got some good youngsters to play in next season's Europa League if you qualify? Yes, this is our objective too. This is our uh, challenge to to bring the player, uh, the young player uh, from the academy. I think that uh, if they deserve to play, why not? And one last one from me. In terms of your transfers during the summer, have you made a list of who you want and does that go to the head of recruitment? Um, have you, first of all, made a list of Yes, we have a plan and we have the target. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the most important thing that we have a plan and now we need to deliver that. And is that two or three players or five or six players? No, I hear, uh, in, uh, I think last week I hear from one sporting director, director of sport, sporting director, yeah. the sporting director from Spain say, uh, we follow and we track uh, 15 player for position, no? It's more than, I don't know, one, yes. And said that this is, is impossible, no? I, was, I, I start to laugh, no? But uh, we identified our target and our, and our position that we want to improve the squad. And I think no more than five. And because if not, it's not realistic. And this is, is um, our, was our job and and try to now to take decision and deliver our plan. This is very important. Okay. Good job. Just the last couple, please. Check the team news. Is there any injuries this afternoon? Yes, uh, Ben Davis and Kyle still out and back uh, Andros and Musa. Then the last week uh, they back from the the small injury, but they were were injury mm -hmm. and. Now are, are, fit, are fit, and no, another, no, no, another. What is the latest with Carl? How, how is it? Carl Walker, how is, how is he doing? Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. He's a, it's, it's a slow, uh, his recovery, but uh, yes, we need to, to assess and analyze every day, and, and he's not uh, sure that uh, he's out for the rest of the, the season, but it's not. Uh, it's not sure that maybe back before that uh, then of the season.